White Mountains today. I'm Chelsea Hupalowski, and joining me via Zoom is Becca DeShane of Cranmore Mountain Resort. How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks for joining us. Kind of. Thanks I mean, for you're, us. Yeah, of course. And so you're standing in front of a lot of really fun stuff. What is behind you? Yeah, so we're in the middle of summer operations here at the mountain. Um, we mm -hmm. are open Thursday through Monday with our Mountain Adventure Park, which you can see behind me are mm -hmm. some of the attractions that we have. We have summer tubing, bounce houses, a bungee trampoline, our uh, mountain coaster, a seated soaring eagle zip line ride, and mm -hmm. a giant swing. Um, and we also have chairlift rides and the bike park going on. So there's tons of activities, tons of action happening at the resort. Awesome. And everything, it looks like everything's open and running and active. And, yes, it's awesome. Oh, how fun. And then for tickets for that, um, is it recommended to make uh, reservations ahead of time? Is it something you can do day of or online? Sure. So for the Mountain Adventure Park, we do encourage guests to purchase their tickets online in advance at Cranmore.com. Um, we are limiting the amount of tickets that we have available for the mm -hmm. Mountain Adventure Park activities. Um, for the chairlift and for the bike park, you can just show up and purchase at the resort or online as well. So I know summer is a busy time for everyone in the whole valley. Um, so what events do you have coming up at Cranmore? Yeah, so we are at week two in the Arts Jubilee Summer Concert Series. Um, and next week we have Victor Wainwright, um, who's a Grammy-nominated artist, um, coming. So it's a, it's a really great lineup. Um, in a few weeks we have the Symphony with Fireworks. Um, and then a Tom Petty tribute band will kind of wrap up the Arts Jubilee Summer Concert Series for this year. Oh, how fun. And I know we had someone talk about Arts Jubilee on here, but again, tickets available for that still online? Tickets, you can buy them online or at the gate. Um, there's an unlimited amount of tickets available, so oh, awesome. whatever you prefer to do works. <laughs> um, we did move the entrance to the, the main concert area a little bit so mm -hmm. if you've been to past summer um, concerts here it will be a little bit different but um, we have plenty of signage and staff to help guide people around oh fantastic we know we all get lost so yeah <laughs> <laughs> every day um, so I know you have a bike park as well at Cranmore going on right now would you like to tell us about that yes yeah, sure so we have a full um, lift service downhill bike park Wow. Um, we have terrain for all abilities from beginner um, riders to more expan experienced um, advanced riders as well. We're getting ready to open up a jump line this weekend, mm -hmm. um, which I'm sure will be very popular. Oh, wow. Um, and we have flow trails and um, technical trails. So the flow trails are super flat, easy riding. Technical trails are when we get into like some roots and rocks and some narrower um, trails. So really something for everybody. And for those who aren't or who are new to downhill riding, we do have clinics, um, Learn to Downhill 101 um, and Downhill Skills 102. So plenty of opportunity to get into the sport if you're new to downhill riding. That's awesome. Yeah, but that's awesome that you have from beginner to advanced, something for everyone yes. there. Yep. Fantastic. Um, any other events coming on maybe later in the summer? Yeah, so um, on the topic of the bike park, we yes. are week one week into our four week bike park um, downhill series. It's called Mini Meisters. It's for kids oh, okay. ages 13 and under. Um, it's on Monday nights from four to six. They take two timed runs. Um, we have tons of raffle prizes and some great end of um, event prizes as well from our sponsors, um, Settlers Green, Forum Bike and Ski, Pirates Cove. Um, so that's been a really great event and we had a really great turnout for week one. Mm -hmm. um, if you missed week one, no worries. You can come and take advantage of the, the next three weeks or if you're just going to be around for one week, that's you can do that too. Oh, fantastic. Nice. And then all the information for that is of course online too. Yep, right at Cremor.com. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And then I know you have Rock the Wreck as well, so you have to tell us there. Yeah, so Rock the Wreck, we started this in 2018. It's a fundraiser for the North or Mount Washington Valley Rec Path, um, which for those of you who don't know, it starts right um, in our parking lot by our Artist Falls Lodge and will connect down to the Walmart area. It's a paved um, recreation path. Mm -hmm. We will be hosting Rock the Wreck 3, which will be a musical evening. We have Diana's Bath Salts playing and Reckless. Um, both bands are local to the valley. 
I may be in the second mentioned one. Um, <laughs> but tickets, <laughs> tickets for that can be purchased online or at the gate as well. And there's more information at Cranmore.com on that. Oh, awesome. Wow. Well, yeah. it's like a million things happening <laughs> every yeah. single day. Never events. A dull <laughs> of course. Well, all the information again, Cranmore.com, correct? Yes. Perfect. Yep. Tickets there, some, some events, tickets to the door, but yeah, always all the questions are answered if you visit their website. Thanks for joining us, Becca. You're watching White Mountains Today.